Now the conclusion of our I-Team investigation, police station intimidation. We sent undercover cameras into dozens of South Florida police stations to find out about procedures involving complaints against cops. And now you'll hear what's going to be done uh, after what we found. Here's I-Team investigator Mike Kirsch with more. Mike? Well, Rob, Maggie, at least three South Florida police officers are now under investigation. A separate investigation has been launched surrounding a case of possible racial profiling after our exclusive I-Team report, Police Station Intimidation. Yeah, I'm trying to find out how to file a complaint against a uh, police officer. I'm trying to find out how to file 38 a different yeah, South Florida police case. stations were tested recently by an undercover operative with a hidden camera working for a police abuse watchdog group. He walked into stations asking how to file a complaint against the police. Yes, sir. Yeah. Finding courteous cops and cops who were not so courteous. And this is very suspicious here. Asking how to file a complaint is suspicious. Why don't you shut up? Yeah, I wanted to find out how to file a complaint against an officer. I just wanted to find out how to do it. Do you guys have a form or something that I could take with well, me? Well, you got to tell me first, and then i got to hear what's going on. you got to tell me what the complaint is. Do you have a complaint form that I can, like, fill out or something like that? Might not be a, a legitimate complaint. Who decides that? I'm trying to help you. Like, if there's a form, why can't I just take it and leave, right? No, you don't leave with forms. You tell me what happened, and then I help you from there. Do you have, do you have an idea on you? Why? You know what? You need to leave. Why? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you one more time because I can't do this anymore with you. Okay? You're refusing to tell me what you want to do. Okay? You're refusing to tell me who's involved, where it happened, what transpired. You're not cooperating with me one bit. I was just asking if you guys have a complaint form or like if there's some way for me to contact Internal Affairs. You can do whatever the hell you want. It's a free country. Why are you cursing at me? Where do you live? Where do you live? Alright, first of all. If you're not gonna tell me where you live, what your name is, or anything like that, right? I mean if you're gonna like I mean if I ask Are you on medication? Why would you ask me something like that? Because you're not answering any of my questions. So I'm on medication? I asked you. It's a free country, I can ask you that. Okay, you're right. So you're not gonna tell me who you are. You're not gonna tell me what the problem is. You're not gonna identify yourself. All I asked you was, like, how do I contact them? You said you had a complaint. You said my officers are acting in an appropriate manner. Leave now. Leave now. Leave now. You better keep walking, son, before you get yourself in some trouble. I'm not doing anything wrong. Neither am I. It's a free country. Goodbye. Goodbye. Why don't you get out of my face? It's not in your face. I'm standing. Sidewalk, free country. One more step towards me, see what happens. I didn't drive with police, man. Take one more step towards me and see what happens. The department says the case has been sent to Internal Affairs and refuses to talk about it, saying only that the cop claims he was baited. The Hialeah Gardens Police Department refuses to comment about this cop's comment. And the Sea Ranch Lakes Police Department refuses to comment on this duo's behavior. I want ID. For what? Because I'm asking you for ID right now. That's why. Here. Hand it to me. It's it. Here. Hand it to me. Here. Hand it to me. Are you kidding me? Hand me your ID. Here. I see. Sir, he's giving it hand, to you. Hand me are your you ID. Are you kidding me? Hand me your ID. Is this, is this some... So are you detaining us? Okay. Could I give you a ticket right now for improper backing? You can do whatever you, you want to do, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that means yes, I guess you're saying, right? And for backing up, correct? Yes? I was backing up, sir, because I was leaving. But because I'm a nice guy, okay, I'm going to give you a warning. Is that fair? Yes, sir. Okay. Miami-Dade Police Director Bobby Parker did comment on one of his officers' questions. Uh, did he steal your money? Did he, you know, have sex with your wife? What? Sex with your wife. I mean, how appropriate is that? I would say that the comment itself is inappropriate. I would say with something like that, as, as I'm now aware of, we will certainly look into who that officer was. You guys have a complaint form or something like that? Like there's not like a form or something? Is there something I can fill out? Can I have the form? What most all of the South Florida police stations tested had in common was having no complaint form available for citizens, a complaint form other police departments around the country use a form recommended by the International Association of Chiefs of Police. 
of South Florida's big three police departments, the city of Miami did have them. The Miami-Dade Police Department and the Broward County Sheriff's Office do not. Miami's police chief, John Timoney, has harsh words for those police departments that don't offer citizens forms. Fire the chief. If I'm not doing it properly, fire me. Just fire the chiefs of police. <laughs> okay. In other words, he's all for it, and if anyone's not for it, fire them? Is that what he's saying or you're saying? He's saying, in this case, yes. He's also saying if, if I'm doing something that's not right, fire, fire me. me. He also said that. Okay. Well, again, I would say that, you know, he's entitled to his opinion. Parker said he'll consider it. Chief Timoney said, for departments that don't have these forms, fire the chiefs. In your case, the sheriff. Well, I think that, uh, I think that we need to have the forms, and we're going to get those forms out there. I then informed Sheriff Jenny about something else, a racial profiling test conducted on his BSO sheriff deputies. Operative Greg Slate, the director of the Police Complaint Center, and another operative, Dorian Gibson, took turns driving the same car in the same parts of Broward County for more than a week. And I've never been pulled over. Dorian got into the same car at the same places and was almost immediately pulled over. He pulled up behind me. We were driving for a little bit. He pulled up bumper to bumper on me, put his light Right in my uh, mirror, I guess he was looking at me, scoping me out. And uh, so happened, just like I figured, he would pull me over. And he came to the car. He asked me, uh, basically, what, uh, where's your license registration? I asked him, why did he pull me over? He didn't respond. And then so he asked me once again, where's your license registration for the car? And so I gave it to him. I asked him, could I go in my pocket? So I gave it to him. And then he went to his car, and I sat out there like, 10 minutes waiting on him to come back and then when he got back he uh, basically asked me again I asked him again why did he pull me over and he stated well you're veering in and out of lanes we had observed no veering whatsoever the only noticeable veering we saw was the police car sliding to the right over the line and I was like am I in trouble for veering in and out of lanes he was like no uh, you can go and that's it you can go what do you think of what happened? Well, personally, I felt I was racial profiled, a black guy in a Mustang convertible riding down Oakland Park. Hey. In a case like this alleged racial profiling incident that we've seen, they went to the police station that the sergeant on the scene told them to go to, Oakland Park. The doors were locked. So yeah. then, then they called the phone number that they were given for Oakland Park, and they get a hotel. Hello, you've reached the Atlantic Hotel Message Center. It's a number for a hotel. It's not the, uh, it's not the Sheriff's Department. The Hotel Atlantic. Uh, that, that one was misprinted, and as you know, we're in the process of getting that reprinted right now. The next evening, we're surrounded by your deputies, Sergeant Santiago. I asked him, what's the cause? He says, a citizen said that we were stalking. There was no citizen we were stalking. And the question is, do you have more resources to investigate an investigation on you than you do to answer a racial profiling complaint? We've, that is part of the internal affairs, that response to you also. Uh, we've taken that allegation as equally as serious, and we're looking at that. I think there are some African-American people in this community who might say that Broward County Sheriff Ken Jenny doesn't have a clue about what racial profiling is because you've never been racially profiled. You don't know what it's like. Is that a question? I'm sorry. Well, I agree with you on that. Um, but I will tell you this, that it is against our policy. We're not going to tolerate it. Um, and that's why we're appreciative when people do, where at least I'm appreciative when people bring this to our attention so we can look at it and take action. All right, Mike, thank, thank you, you very much. As a reminder here, if you have a story idea for the I-Team, uh, you can give them a call. The number is 305-471-0404.